Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to crochet a balaclava for my brother. I wanted to give him this balaclava as a Christmas present so I decided to challenge myself and try my best to finish this balaclava in a day. We already have noon, I think it's almost 1 p.m. so I should have started this earlier but I'm still gonna try my best to be done by tonight. Okay, so this is the yarn my brother chose. So we're gonna have a black and gray fuzzy, like the gray one is a bit fuzzy, I don't know if you can tell, but we're gonna have a black and gray striped balaclava. I think this is all the information you need to know. So let's begin crocheting because we are on a tight schedule here. Okay, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, so we're gonna start with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so now you have four, and then we're gonna go into the first chain and do a slip stitch to create a circle. And now we're gonna chain three, and that will be our first double crochet. Okay, so we have the circle and our first double crochet, and now we're gonna put into the middle of the circle 11 double crochets so we will have 12 counting the first one we already did. Yarn over, go into the circle and do a double crochet and we're gonna do that until we have 12 double crochets in the middle of the circle. So we're going to finish the first round by doing a slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. And here we are. And now we're going to chain three again. And we have our first double crochet. And now we need to start increasing. So we're going to do one normal double crochet and then we're going to increase. And then we're going to do one normal double crochet. Then we're going to increase and so on. We already did one double crochet. So now we're going to increase. So go into the next double crochet. and go into that same double crochet again and now we increased and we're going to repeat that until the round is done okay by the end of round two you should have 18 stitches and you're just going to connect the round with a slip stitch again and then chain three so we are now just going to increase in the next few rounds um, you honestly probably have to check on your head how much increasing you need. I don't have my brother's head here. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I don't have my brother here so I can't check. So I will just start crocheting and just guess when I need to stop increasing. But I will put it up here how many rounds I did. I have now a total of five rounds and I'm gonna stop increasing now and just gonna do double crochets in every single stitch. So we're not adding any more double crochets. And that way we will just crochet down, kind of, and create like a tube. Obviously measure on your own head how many rows of increases you will need. The process of this whole thing will be the same no matter how many rounds you do. So um, this is very adjustable. Just keep on measuring and always like, check and hopefully this will fit you in the end but basically you're just gonna crochet until you reach the point where you want your eyeslit to be so for me that would be around a little bit above my eyebrows i would say um so just keep on crocheting and check on your own head how many rows you need and i will put up my number of rows right here to a Christmas movie and I have crocheted seven rounds of double crochets and now we're gonna add the eye slit so um, you basically need to measure where you want your eye slit to begin I would do it around a little bit behind the eyebrows so that this part will be open and you can just put your balaclava on 
and then with stitch markers mark where your eyeslash should be. Um, I don't have I don't have stitch markers right now here. They're somewhere in my drawers and I'm too lazy to look for them. So I'm just gonna use earrings. You can use anything that will stay on the wool. So you don't need to go out and buy stitch markers. Okay, so I counted the stitches in between my stitch markers and I have 22 stitches in between them. You're just gonna crochet to your first stitch marker, just normal double crochets. So let me quickly do that. I've reached my first stitch marker and I'm not gonna go into the next stitch. I'm just, here I have my double crochet and I'm gonna do a chain of 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're just gonna connect it. So I'm gonna count again to make sure I have everything right. So I'm gonna count 22 stitches up to my stitch marker and then I'm gonna attach this chain onto my balaclava with a double crochet in the 23rd stitch. So if you continue crocheting, you should have the same amount of stitches as you did in the round before. And now we're gonna continue the round normally with double crochets in every stitch. Okay, I'm at the end of my round, so I'm gonna connect it with a slip stitch. And now we're just gonna continue with double crochets. So chain three. And start your round like normal. And once you reach your chain, you're just gonna put a double crochet in every single one of the single crochets. So how many single crochets you did should be the amount of double crochets you're doing now. And then you reach the other side and continue with double crochets. And I'm gonna change color after this round, but obviously you can continue with the same color or you can change your color earlier or later on. But basically what you're gonna do now, no matter if you change colors or not, is to just double crochet all the way down to around your chin and then we're gonna decrease a bit so that the neck part is a bit smaller and fits you better. Okay, so I've reached the end of the round and I haven't yet connected them because I wanna change colors. So I'm gonna make a slip knot with my new color and then I'm just gonna do the slip stitch with a new color. A new color on your hook and pull it through. And now you're just gonna continue. So chain three, one, two, Three and continue crocheting. Okay, so this is how far I am. I've crocheted a total of. That is a good question. I've I've lost count. So after the eye slit, I've crocheted five rows of the gray color and I currently have crocheted four of the black one and my fifth row is going to be the increases. So I haven't decided yet how many decreases I'm gonna make. So let me think. I'm gonna try out to make a decrease every fifth stitch. So I'm going to do five double crochets, then the sixth and seventh double crochet will be a decrease and then I'm going to crochet another five double crochets and then again the sixth and seventh double crochet will be a decrease and I'm just going to follow that pattern all around. It is 8 p.m. you can't see, it is 8 p.m. Um, so I'm quite confident that I will be done today which is very excited because it's the first Christmas present that is gonna be done for this year. In a week we have Christmas. It's not like I'm early or anything, but I'm still happy, okay? I'm still happy and proud that I managed to do it somewhat in time, okay? Somewhat in time. <laughs> so let me grab my camera. I don't wanna move out of bed, so the tutorial part will be in my bed. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I was watching videos, oh shit. Can you see what I'm doing? It was <laughs> it was kind of a bad idea to, <laughs> to use black because you can't really see anything that I'm doing, but my brother chose the colors. I look so stupid, okay. Let's start with the tutorial. Also my battery is flashing. Okay, so I already have two right here. One, two, I don't know, you can't can't see anything. Number one, number two. So we're gonna do three more so that we have five. 
Now we're gonna decrease. Wrap your yarn around the hook, go through the next stitch, wrap it around the hook again, pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook and go through the first two loops. And now you have two loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook again and go to the next stitch. Wrap it around the hook and pull through. Now you have four loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook again. This is so repetitive. And pull through the first two. Now you have three on your hook. Wrap it around the hook again and pull through all three. And now, as you can see, you've made one double crochet out of two. people okay people i'm done i finished it yesterday i still have my stitch marker in because i don't know i think it looks cool <laughs> um but i will take it out before i give it to my brother because these earrings were expensive and i want to keep them um i still have to sew in the end but i will do that later but yeah I am done. I think if I would have done it for myself, I would have started earlier with the decreases so that it would be a little bit tighter around the neck. But because this is for someone else, I was scared that it wouldn't fit my brother anymore. So anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed that little montage and I also hope you enjoyed the video. And I also really do hope that this was helpful and understandable and that you'll be able to make your own balaclava. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. It would help me out a lot. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye. I'm not doing that. Why did I do that? What was that reflex? Anyways, bye everyone and I hope you have a wonderful day.